Welcome to Can I Has Buff, the Warframe series that puts older weapons under the spotlight as well as giving my own personal suggestions to buff or rework them to fit with the current game. The Spectra was introduced on July 13th, 2013 in the Vor's Revenge update, which introduced Nova and the Sobek shotgun as well. In practice, it was essentially the sidearm equivalent of the Flux Rifle, which was introduced in Update 8 two months prior. Sporting an OK 30 damage per second, most of which being puncture damage, as well as a good 20% status per second, the Spectra is most effective against armored enemies and less effective against shielded ones. While generally average in most regards, it suffers a reduced firing range of just 15 meters. Although its augment as well as ruinous extension can alleviate this downside, it does mean replacing potential damage from elemental mods in order to do so. Overall, the Spectra actually isn't terrible. In fact, up until level 50 Grenier, it has little trouble when built correctly. The main issue, however, is how continuous weapons work in Warframe status cannot be increased with multi-shot anymore, and damage varies depending on how much ammo is spent per second. So increasing fire rate or adding more status has very little advantages past 100% status, though this will increase the EPS and the chance for status procs to occur per tick. In fact, the only buff the weapon has really gotten is its augment, which acted more like a band-aid to a popular complaint, its short range, than a real augment to the weapon. Similar to how the Acrid will proc Toxin with every round regardless of elemental damage, the Spectre would burn and slice enemies each time it deals damage, forcing a guaranteed heat and slash proc regardless of mods. The superheated beam of the Spectre should have a unique effect that would stun and bleed enemies as you fire upon them. The heat proc would be more useful as a crowd control measure to keep enemies from fighting back as much due to its short range that requires close engagements and the slash procs would help it more against armor, bleeding the enemy from within. Similar to my first suggestion, a unique firing mechanic of increased damage the longer the beam is touching the enemy would allow it to scale much better in the late game without it being too overpowered initially. Lower level enemies will still die about just as quickly, but heavier units and higher level enemies will suffer higher and higher damage the longer the beam is hitting them, as well as the beam getting brighter and more erratic to visually cue you on the bonus damage. If you let go of the trigger or the beam disconnects with that enemy for whatever reason, the beam dims back to normal and the bonus damage resets. The damage per tick would increase by 10%, as long as the beam is held on the enemy with a maximum cap of around 400% damage. While you'd lose the bonus range from the augment, the new augment stats would allow it to have unique crowd control capabilities. If an enemy dies by the weapon with the augment on, the enemy bursts into flames and turns into a pile of molten bloody slag in the floor in a 4 meter radius. That is the most metal thing I ever heard in my whole life. This pool of flesh and steel will set enemies ablaze with a small amount of damage as long as they stand in the pool. The pool of molten slag will last around 6 seconds and the damage would be, at base, around 50 heat per second. Even better, the damage and pool duration is further boosted by how much ferrite or alloy armor the unit had before being killed. If they had 430 armor, for example, the damage is boosted by about 43 heat per second and about one second is added to the pool's duration. 1000 armor will add 100 additional heat damage per tick and about two seconds and so on. While you would not gain any additional damage on the weapon, making it harder to kill enemies at a higher level, it will reward you when you do so, allowing minor scaling as well as great crowd control. And that's the Spectra, a portable laser cutter with decent damage, good status, and poorly neglected place in Warframe. What do you think of the Spectra? Are my buff suggestions good ideas, or do you think the Spectra is fine as it is? Feel free to tell me in the comments below, and stay tuned for the next installment of Can I As Buff? <laughs>